experience, but all that farm, it's gonna make a difference in the jungle. Wrong you caught out here. Plenty of CC for the Titans, and enough to grab first blood. But on the other end, Paul has been jumped on by Shinto. Whoa, what a the first pal out of the fight, it's gonna connect, and it's gonna set up for Haddix to return the favor. The Titans found one, but they'll pay for it in blood. Three down in the Leviathan's trade effectively. I mean, it's, it's just such a good read on the fight, right? You, you. Maybe another opportunity here. Paul, my goodness, yeah, you're in some trouble. And talk about communication. That's just a, a simple collapse. The ultimate wrong you has been on it with these pulls as well. And now it's a roar in danger. Zapman with his ult. That's got to be the killing blow. And the Leviathans can turn their eyes elsewhere. Stuart has dropped. The roar drops from the heavens and dies off as well, but up into the powwow goes Panatom. He'll crash down, but a stun on the Sot prevents the follow-up. Eagles rally already been used. The Leviathans mopping the floor with the Titans. That is another three for none. The Gold Fury still illustrated by the gold difference chart. Ooh, it's just a small dent. Good knockback from Zapman. Simply not enough though. Sino is hung out on left, and finally it pays off, or does it? because Panatom's here as well. There's some chunk damage to the tier two Hydras. Feels mighty fine for Panatom now. A gets out from Stuart. And wrong, you won't even need to tank the tower. Double kill for Panatom, and the Leviathans will call it worth. And the real powwow still there for Panatom just around the corner. Now Haddix is walled off, but we've already done this fight once this game where Haddix is apparently caught out, and then the Leviathans re-engage after the fact. But this time Ooh. the Titans have numbers. Triple pull and triple knock up from wrong, you. Haddock still being run down, but Sot too far forward. He's stunned and taken down Pal by out. Panatom. And Panatom still with that ultimate. Dashes forward, goes up, chain onto one, and that'll be a pull and a kill onto a roar. And now they can either continue their chase, they went uh -oh. wrong, you so low, but look at Haddock. Oh, no. He teleported back in. Oh, Haddock's behind the tier one tower now. Full HP and the dive has arrived. Double kill for Shinto, Panatom with another as well. Little excursion on right going down, and I trust the little Ivans here. Panatom can evaporate Sino with a drop of a hat. Just Haddox go who cheap. gets the kill, but Panatom does the majority of the damage, and Fire Giant now pulled at the exact 20 minute mark for the Leviathan. Sot close by. You might need a steal here to keep you in game number one. Remember, this is a best of five, a bit more room for error for the Titans. And an error has been made by Sot stepping too far forward. Eagles rally, looks good. Doesn't matter, another one for the Leviathans. It's wild to me that this is what's been allowed to have happen. It's Stuart jumped on by Panatom. And Palau, number one, the real one. It's been used and it's double Cthulhu this time. And it's working out just fine for the Leviathans. Phoenix in a roar, both crumble. Sot shortly to follow. And at the 24 minute mark, the Leviathans have officially broken the base. And maybe the spirit of the Titans here in game one. I love the call to change that one, that moment from a double Daji to a double Cthulhu. Because what are you trying to do? You're trying to siege. You need that extra tanky body up front disrupting the team fight. And that's exactly what Shinto gives them. Paul now jumped on. He's going to have to hope that defense can keep him alive because Panatom has arrived. The top three of the Leviathans. Palau and Double Cthulhu is the answer. It's, not, <laughs> it's only so much you can hit. Panatom has shredded SOT, and here's your team fight. The Leviathans have controlled all of game one. And decent pushback here from the Titans. The actual Titan is actually not taking that much damage, but the Titans' back line beginning to melt. Finally, the crack showing on this defense and in a convincing manner. Leviathans take down the Titans in game one. Yeah, that one, again, they've just put themselves in maybe the best scenario. And wow. a lot of it stems, I mean, we, we mentioned it, we talked about it, we looked at it. That's a funny interaction. Panatom teleports to where Aurora was in the moment and then chases him down after the fact. Watching well, Maui so uh, I realize you stopped at the wealthy, but didn't didn't carry on to the wise. Uh, oh no, because I'm certain he's wise. <laughs> oh, okay, he's okay. Wise. yeah, that one that because one it was a given. Any, okay, right, that one's just known. Uh, but no, he's he's in a good spot. And his his first god design's been seeing some play, and his first god design getting on to Vulcan has been an issue for some. Wrong you and a shard device that'll avoid the Earth Shaker. And now it's a dive in from the Leviathans. They have found Paul. But yeah. 
from a roar. Look good. Kind of, and honestly, it makes the wall feel a little less negligible or more negligible. Wow, so there maybe oh, actually wow. is indeed some follow up on that. And there is the oh, Titans no. have picked wrong you, Paul, desperately running. Haddix misreads, or maybe he was just trying to escape. Ooh, that's Wild. early beats. Can Panatom get in range? This is not going oh, to be Shinto a stun. Here. Shinto drops nothing because he. And I think that the Leviathans oh, no. are playing this well. Oh, wrong you threw up the wall and Stuart dashed right into it. Panatom with the knockup. He's got the damage and another one for the Leviathans. Wrong you continues to chase. Another wall, two for two, and another kill for the Leviathans in the dual lane. And admittedly, you know, <laughs> it comes down, you had mentioned it, mm. to a lot of the same things, but this this Susano is being played well by two people on the map. I mean, that's such a good migration over towards Zap. Got to get a kill onto Zap here. You're sending three underneath the tower. Zap delays, Zap dashes away, but a roar with range finishes off the kill, and it was necessary, Zap nearly escapes it all. Haddock's running down the other side of the fight as well. So both carries cleaned up. Now you got a 4v4 over and do a roar will swing right into the shards of ice. Haddock pops the ultimate early in the fight. Slows down the Titans on their back pedal. But here comes Panatom. Double knockup. And Sot again has traded out. So again we stand at two kills apiece. Fury. This is risky. Zapman close by. The Titans haven't dropped it. Sato uses the ult. And Haddox has finished off the kill. The Titans do get the Oni Fury duo. Yeah, this could be big. Yeah. I mean, just the fields That's of love alone. Yep. Pick to really set things up. See this. This is what I was wondering about. Talking about phantom shells, things like that. Paul, a wall goes behind him and Good it's forced up. to use the ultimate. What are you going to do against two Typhoons? There's not much you can do. And the Leviathans have cleaned up a kill onto the Titans mid laner. But Sot has been a force all game long. That is, that is what you expect from the Titans. Actually, a real nice game so far. This Bologna has felt like the last leg in so many of these fights for the Tartarus Titans. Unfortunately, Shinto has That's way too much damage. I'll call that a caster's curse. Maybe a forgettable moment now here in game two for SOT. Caught out by the Leviathans. And that'll fuel up the tank. Could be another one onto a roar here. And the tier two tower will drop. So will the support. Can only do so much. I mean, Phoenix-wise, this should be easy. And if Stuart goes down, this might just be game. Yeah, Gore Stuart will oh, go down man. in the fountain. Panatom on a rampage. He wants to answer back the triple of Shinto with a double of his own. And the Leviathans playing with their food. Game two has been convincing. A Panatom triple, a double Susano triple for the Atlantis Leviathans. Un Unbelievable in game two. He heard us. <laughs> he, yeah, he, heard, he, he heard. He's like, hold on, wait. You're saying, you're saying Shinto's got a better Susano? Yep. Centering around Rongyu, the walls and the freezes. That's when the pace starts to get picked up. Rongyu missed both just now. And here's your setup. That's what we've wanted to see from the Titans. All the circles collapsing. There oh, it no! is. But you don't have any circles left. Shinto returns the favor. It's a double kill for the Leviathans for the Titans, but you mentioned the pace of this game. You start looking towards the, the longevity, the 25 minute mark, wow. and you've got so much power from the Leviathans, even here against Sot. Wow, Sot, he'll drop, won't trade out the kill on the Panatom. That's really nice for the Titans. Remember, the last one did not work out well for SOT. Here's an Earthshaker. Rongyu takes it again, but a bit of healing on the back end. Devin killed off the Ymir, it takes a dive in from SOT to complete the kill. But this is what we've seen time and time again. The Titans going too far to confirm the one kill. And it's a stun on the Aurora. Stewart had to use the beads. Aurora left alone. And a singular pick for the Leviathans that could get worse as Panatom gallops forward. I'm a monster. It's channeled. It doesn't connect on a Stu because of the Aegis, but Stu has been walled. Stu has been crushed. And Shinto will get his third straight. And look, now it's just the chase down. Paul. Uh huh. Maybe there's going to be a little bit more of that fight. Uh -huh. I don't know what Sino wanted uh -huh. to accomplish. Cavalry charge. Now, Penaton was able to use his ult aggressively just a moment ago. Uh, goodbye, Stuart. That's a nice combination. A lopsided set, however. It's an Earthshaker at Paul's feet. Finds some good damage, but Panatom, Haddock, they'll gallop through. Now, SOT alone. As the rest of his team has had to get away. Haddox, no, he can't, he can't live. live. He there. can't, he does. The Titans, they're given one, but they're unable to finish off the kill. And now Zapman has arrived. Zapman will bring the damage. Aurora has pulled back wrong you. You don't want to bring him towards you. A killing spree for Panatom. And freeze from wrong you, connects onto SOT. Now the Phoenix is gone. The Leviathans have some space to operate. 
Back line is an afterthought. Over from the mid lane comes Panatom to the tune of a double kill. He's got one triple already in this set. Zatman will take away his second in the Atlantis Leviathans as clean as it gets. We'll end game three. Haddock ends this one undying. Shinto maybe has died one time this entire set. First seed for a reason, and the defending champs go back to Worlds. They played it clean. I mean,